What's up, everybody? Jeremy Ritz here. Courage pays better than fear trading. Very excited because we are kicking off earnings week this week. And next week, one of my favorite companies to trade is going to be reporting on the 18th of July. That's Netflix. And how many of you out there have Netflix accounts? I'm sure quite a few of you. So today we're going to preview Netflix earnings, potentially what could happen, the bull case, the bear case. All of that and more in today's Courage Mini. Check it out. All right, so here we go. Here is the Netflix chart. Again, this was one of my favorite stocks to trade whenever I began trading. And you could see right now, Netflix is closing in on its all time high $702 and some change. We could see that here marked by this red line and the market is not yet closed as of me recording this video but you could see that this past friday it made a push and got all the way up to 697 wasn't able to hit that 700 but it's it's closing in there and if we see next thursday right here july 18th we are going to have netflix reporting earnings and potentially this could be the catalyst for it to go higher knock out that all-time high and we're going to talk about earnings, but let's just go back. Let's zoom out and go into where it hit its all-time high. And actually, it's a little lower than 70206. Let's drag this down here. It's at about $700.82. So right here, November 17th, 2021 is when Netflix hit that all-time high. And then you could see, boom, people started taking profits and this drop really coincides with the start of the bear market um, in 2022. Everything really escalated in January. And you see that Netflix dropped and dropped and dropped and dropped and dropped and finally bottomed out right around here. This was May of 2022. And then it started its push higher. So it has been in that 700 range before. And now that we are back in a bull market from that uh, 2022 bear market, Netflix is closing into its all-time high. Now, we've had several companies in the last several months record all-time highs. You've had Amazon do so, Apple, Meta, NVIDIA, AMD, and Google. And so it's time for that to happen for Netflix. The question is, when is it going to happen? And will it happen before earnings or after earnings? And again, we could see right here the 18th. That's when we're, we're looking to have those results reported. And that's going to be a big day in terms of what's going to happen with the stock. And as we could see right now, the last time that Netflix had a significant move down was on its previous earnings report here from Thursday, uh, April 18th. And you could see this gap down on Netflix uh, it dropped significantly over $50 and their earnings were good, right? They, they met, they really exceeded their earnings uh, expectations. They exceeded their revenue expectations, but there were some things in the forward guidance that threw investors off that they didn't like. One of those things being that they weren't going to share quarterly subscriber numbers. And so investors didn't like that. They want that data up front. And you could see as a result of that, despite them beating earnings, you have this gap down. But notice this green line here, this is my 100-day simple moving average, served as a support, and eventually it was able to push back up higher, uh, stick to this 50 SMA, and climb to where it is today. And really, we've just been moving sideways since June 17th. There's consolidation here, and what I think is setting up is a push above that 700 mark. And keep in mind, the last earnings report we got down. So what about the report prior to that? So if we go back to here, this area, January 23rd of this year, we had a significant gap up where it went from 491 on the close to that following day up to 544. So you could see that earnings can move Netflix stock significantly. Now, if we go ahead and look here, there was a bit of a miss in terms of the numbers. So again, uh, as I talked about in the Traders Podcast last week, episode 27, 
even if you don't hit your your targets for earnings and revenue, it doesn't matter. You could still gap up. Really, what market makers are looking for is what is your forward guidance? What is the future potential for your company? All right. And so it was enough for Netflix to push higher and to get back into that mid 500 range. Now, if we go back to the time uh, they reported earnings previous to that, that was October 18th. And notice that this was coming out of this downtrend from summer. And I mean, look at this fall. So this was when they reported earnings uh, that July. It dropped, let's see here, uh, $132, right? So there was a significant drawdown here on Netflix. A lot of people were saying, oh, it's it's the end for Netflix. Uh, YouTube is taking over. And then what happened? They reported earnings. They beat both the earnings and revenue. And what happened? It gapped up. Right. So out of the last three reports for Netflix, the most recent time got down the two times before that we had a gap up. And if we go back to last summer. When they reported in July, they actually rep reported the 19th, one day after when they're going to report uh, next week, we could see. And let me get this line out of here that Netflix was in a strong push higher during this time. And the day of earnings, remember, earnings aren't reported for Netflix until market close. So that's 4 p.m. You could see that it got up to a high of 485.18. And what happened after they reported earnings? Smash this thing got down and it started that downward spiral that bottomed out in October for their next gap up. So if we look at what happened last summer here with Netflix, we had a gap down. And keep in mind, though, this thing did push quite significantly. Uh, you, you had a small gap down here in April prior to that, and it just went on a tear. So from that gap down in April of 2023, if we just do a rough measurement out of here, it did climb a total of $161. So it was due for a pullback and a correction. Now, let's just go and check how much we've ran since that pull, pullback here from the gap down. Uh, the last earnings report. So let's just go, we'll go with this. Let's go with the candle close here off this second bull candle. Let's take it up to where we are. So $142, so it's a pretty significant move. So the question is, is what's going to happen for earnings next week? Is Netflix going to gap up? Is it going to gap down? And who knows, right? We, we don't know. Playing earnings can be very risky. What I think is going to happen is that we're going to hit that 700 mark prior to earnings. And I think we'll chop around. And then when we get to earnings, it will just be a mild move, uh, maybe a slight, slight move higher, 10 to $15. Uh, I don't anticipate a, a gap down, um, but I do think that Netflix will kind of move sideways a little bit and then grind higher. Uh, maybe to 750. So that would be my target before we get any type of meaningful correction on Netflix is to hit that 750 range. And then from there, we'll see some type of a correction. So we have several days left in this week uh, for uh, Netflix to make a push higher. Don't forget, we still have Jerome Powell yet to speak, CPI on Thursday, PPI on Friday. And so I think that it's going to break that 700 mark before the end of the week. And then with earnings coming up next week, it could push it for that leg higher. It could gap it down. But I think this thing has already made a significant move. If you just go back and look from the beginning of the year until now, uh, let's see, January. Let's go from the beginning of January, January, January 2nd. So that would be this candle right here. So if we take that all the way up to here, it's $228 that it's come up. So it is... Uh, it is pretty extended. It did gap down. It did have a correction. Uh, if it does get above that 700 mark, which I, I think it will, I think it has the possibility to go up to 750. I think at that point, then we would see a correction on this thing. So in terms of taking out 700 on earnings, I think it does it before earnings. And then any type of move that we see out of that will be probably a, a slight move up, muted, maybe 10 to $15. I think we hit that 750. Maybe that's in August. And then we start to correct and pull back on Netflix. Now, the bear case here, let's say that we do have a gap down. Uh, like I said, I do think we hit 700 before next week. 
But then if we were to pull back from here, the logical spot for a, a move down would be this 100 SMA. So let's say that we do something like this. We get up into the 700s and then there's something in that earnings report that market makers don't like. I could see us coming down into that 100 simple moving average, which right now is around 622. Uh, and if that's the case, just maybe a little bit of chop. Uh, maybe a little bit of a dip lower before it starts to climb back up. So regardless of what happens, it's going to be a lot of fun. And I I love trading Netflix. It's a fun stock for me to watch. And this is definitely one of the earnings reports that I'm going to be keeping an eye on next week. And also keep in mind that Netflix earnings will have the power to drive the markets. Everybody's going to be watching to see how they report. They're going to be waiting to see the reaction. And so keep an eye on it because you will see some ripples in the broader market as a result of how they report. So again, that is next week, Netflix earning on Thursday, earnings on Thursday. Check it out. Um, we'll come back and we'll, we'll talk about how all things played out there. We'll probably do that on one of the traders podcasts. And over the next few weeks, as we are getting into earnings season, I'm gonna be publishing these videos about potentially what can happen as these companies report earnings. And this is the first one with Netflix. So. Hope you enjoy this mini. Have a fa fabulous day. I will see you back here next time because courage pays better than fear. Have a great day, everyone. Take care.